Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play E's Origin. Today we're going to be seeing what scenes happen at the ending with Unica as well as Hugo. Oh, that must be Rhea and the Black Pearl. Dallas, I assume. It's gotta be Dallas, right? Oh, it looks like her barrier is actually hurting her. I mean, Fina looked fine, but Rhea can't really even get up. Oh. Well, here I am. Yeah, I don't think that he's gonna do that at all. Oh. Yeah. Well, we saw that scene earlier with all that, like, those black tendrils grabbing onto the shrine. Yeah, why do you want the Solomon Shrine? Okay, but you have the Black Pearl. Oh, I see. Yeah. So whenever it falls down to the ground, then all the power of the Black Pearl will be inside the Black Pearl, I guess. Um, yeah? What didn't you understand, Unica? Oh. Oh, to force them to do it? But, I mean, if the goddesses are the only ones who can control the Black Pearl, and the goddesses aren't going to do it, then you can't really kill the goddesses either because, you know, then nobody could control the Black Pearl. So you're kind of screwed. Oh, unless you can somehow drain their power. I didn't really think about all that. Whoa! Oh, it's rough. Yeah, we've kind of got to do something about that barrier then. Oh, well, everybody has! Uh-oh. Yikes! Whoa! Ah! Oh, I guess your sword makes some sort of barrier as well. Whoa! Not good enough of a barrier, though. Uh-oh. Yikes! Oh, no! You could, like, get up now, or something, Unica. You could move. Um, try to move? Whoa! <gasps> and she died. Whoa, what's going on? What's this? Another barrier? And who are you? Oh, hey, it's Fina and everybody else. Sweet. Eh, well, we did our best. What do you want from us? Oh, okay. Wait, I thought that these barriers, like, magic couldn't go through them, and now Rhea's able to use her magic through the barrier. Ah, uh, I don't know. Oh, well, thanks. They did say that all their power was absorbed in their wings, so I like how they're kind of fluttering their wings. It's cute. The seal has been broken! It almost looked like she had a different sword in that little scene right there, like it was like a little blue sword rather than a red sword. Whoa. Uh -oh. Well, don't you know this is a JRPG? He has multiple forms. You can't just have one form. I mean, even the very first Dragon Warrior game, the final boss, had multiple forms. I mean, don't you know this? It's a standard rule of role-playing games, Unica. Uh-oh.
Oh. Well, we took care of him. Easily enough. Yeah, just those same three forms that Dallas had the first time. Well, yeah, just like in every other JRPG. Oh, well, yeah, we have the power of friendship on our side. Of course, we always do. Oh, and somehow Rhea got out of her barrier, too. How did that happen? Well, I guess maybe by defeating Dallas it broke the barrier or something. Maybe he had to use all of his power to defeat us and he couldn't hold up the barrier. I don't know. Oh. Well, we'll just have to make the Demonic Essence die in Ease 1 and 2. We can do that. Oh. Oh. What's that? What in the world? Oh, okay. Yeah, how can you destroy the Demonic Essence? Oh, I see that Hugo's there. I didn't even notice him the first time. I don't see Toll, though. Hmm. Well, that was nice. Everything looks back to normal. Solomon's Shrine still seems aloft, and it looks like all the Darklings and the demons and everything have been vanquished. Oh, they're staying here. Oh! Even though you didn't even use your wings, you just played our harmonica. Sure. Oh, the best of her life's energy. Oh. For about 700 years, I would imagine. What's that? Oh. Really? So you did all that, and your seal isn't even foolproof. Great. Just great. Pretty much. Yeah, but she'll be dead. Oh, poor Unica. Okay. 
You know, okay, so here's a question. If the lower world is completely clear of demons and everything else, and it's perfectly fine, why does the Solomon Shrine have to stay aloft? Why does the Land of Ease have to be, you know, raised in the air? Couldn't it just come back down now? And everybody could live on, you know, the Earth, unmolested by the demons and all that? I don't know. They never really, um, explained that part. Oh. Oh, great. So maybe that's why they need to keep the Solomon Shrine up in the air, even though the demons aren't here right now. And you know, you saved the world and all that. That, too. Oh. Well, will do. It's just sad. You know, future generations will be completely without you guys. They won't know you like we did. Yeah, they do have that transfer spell. That's right. Oh, I guess we have to say goodbye to the Rota trees or something? Man, just to think, just seven hours ago or so, this whole land was a hellscape. Now it's perfectly fine. Oh, okay. And then nobody will be able to talk to you unless they have Rota fruits. I wonder why the humans can talk to them now, but they couldn't later on. Like, they needed a special item, you know? Oh, uh, we're as ready as we'll ever be. Oh. Oh, um, that is true. Okay. And I like how we're just leaving Toll behind, like nobody's saying anything about him. Not even Hugo. What is it? You want to stay down here? Oh. Rahahaheli! <laughs> so Unica and Hugo, and who is that? Mishua and Rico? I don't know who that other sorcerer is. I can't think of their name. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you'd be kind of screwed. But then again, she's here with three other sorcerers. Maybe they can, um, you know, do the transfer spell themselves. Oh, I guess so. Or you could just, you know, let nature take over and do its course. Oh. Okay, so it is Rico. Got you. Yeah. So who's actually repopulating this world? I guess Hugo would get together with Mishua and Unico would get together with Rico, I guess? Because I would imagine there are no more humans down here on this world. Um, they're sleeping. They'll be fine. Yeah, more than likely they'll probably die in the first winter, but sure, hey, whatever.
okay. Like, there's no shelter, there's no farmland. I don't think that there's even any domesticated animals down here. Like, what are they gonna do? They're completely screwed. Nobody thinks through these practicalities now, do they? Well, we saw what happened with, uh, Unica. Uh, yeah, the, the credits were rolling, whatever, we skipped it, who cares. And now we're, uh, back with Hugo. Oh, well, yeah. Hugo's whose storyline is much more involved considering that he is in love with the goddess, and he has two other people in love with him, and, you know, he's brother to one of the antagonists, whereas Unica's just kind of along for the ride. Her only love interest died, and she's just friends with the goddesses. So, yeah. Kind of odd. Kind of odd that they even put her in here, actually. I, I don't know, maybe it's just like the view from the outside as far as Unix is concerned. Who knows. Oh, well, yeah. We kind of figured that one out. See, and Hugo knows what the ritual is. Unica had to ask. Oh, yeah. Makes logical sense, actually. A uh, pretty much, Hugo. That's generally the gist of it. Oh. Yikes. Um, actually, he probably does think that you are because he doesn't think that you could probably take him. But little does he know, you have the power! But not the power to break that barrier. Uh... Oh. Great. Oh, yeah, so are you going to, uh, use my power against me now? Yikes! Well, at least Hugo has a barrier. I mean, it's something. It's better than that crappy sword that Unica had. Oh. Yeah, you are tempting him, aren't you? Well, good for you. To Rhea, I assume you're talking about? Uh-oh. Yikes. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, yeah, the demonic side. Oh, Epona! Wait, I thought you were talking about Rhea. Have you completely, like, forgotten about your love affair with Rhea? Now you're into Epona. Hmm. But, yeah, just like with Unica, he's saved! Well, yeah, Fina and everybody else is here. And Unica's here too, but no Toll. Oh, and Roy's alive this time around. That's interesting. I guess we didn't see Roy die in this timeline. Well, they're giving you the power of the goddesses, of course.
Okay. Uh, hey, more power! Uh, hey, we've done it. <laughs> Impudent worm. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yoinks. Yeah. But we've already seen these bosses in uh, Toll's playthrough, so... Just like with Unica, I'll be skipping it. There's no reason to show them. I'll be skipping those cutscenes that we saw in Unica's time as well, because why bother showing them in Hugo's? I mean, we've seen the cutscenes. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to cut through this battle. Here we are. Hey, hey, we got him. Yeah, not too bad. Pretty easy, all told. For a final boss, at least. Oh, it was fine. Oh. Oh, well, good for you, Hugo. You finally know what it is that you're looking for, your goal and everything. What do you mean it's more corrupt than you know? The curse of your bloodline. Oh, no. Uh... What's he talking about? Is he talking about Toll? Or something to come in Ease 1 and 2? Hmm. Yeah, I guess they're ready to uh, give up their divinity, seal the demonic essence, and save the world. Through the power of the harmonica, not their wings. Because using their wings would just make too much sense. We can't have that now, can we? Everything has to be confusing as possible in a JRPG. Of course. Wouldn't have it any other way, actually. And that was just that same cutscene that we saw in Unica's Path with um, the Solomon sh Shrine breaking away and the sun coming through and the demons getting destroyed or whatever by the sunlight and all that kind of good stuff. Oh, you know, this is actually really sad in Hugo's path because, you know, he lost both of his loves. He lost Rhea and Epona, or he's going to lose Rhea at least. And then he's stuck with Mishua. I hate Mishua. Ugh. And I feel like I'm not alone in that sentiment either. It looks like Hugo hates Mishua as well. Oh. Oh, wow, you're actually thanking other people for a change? Oh. Yeah, poor Toll. Yeah, that was kind of ominous, if I do say so myself. Maybe he was just messing with you. Oh. oh, okay. Well, that's good, at least. Uh, that's true. Yeah, and their powers are limited. That's, like, understatement of the year. They have, like, no powers. <laughs> oh. You know, I have to ask, what is it with Japanese and, like, bloodlines? I heard that in some JRPGs, like, they even, like tell what blood type various characters are, like, in the instruction manual, and that there's, like, diet plans based on your blood type in Japan. Like, that's a big thing. Like, eating for your blood type and stuff. It's... I don't even know what my blood type is. I think I'm O negative. I'm not entirely sure, though. I could be completely wrong, but I remember at one point my mother telling me that I was a universal donor. So, I really don't know, but... I think I am. So, like, it seems like it's such a big deal in Japanese culture, and in Western culture, it's something that you don't really even know or care about, or you only really look up if you have to donate or receive blood. I mean, I don't know, it's just 
interesting how cultures vary so widely. I'm fascinated by things like that. I'm fascinated by a lot of nerdy things, actually. <laughs> oh, poor girls. Yeah. Oh, and this is going to start more cutscenes and the credits and um, all that kind of good stuff soon enough. But I think that we still have that, yeah, this scene down here as well. I'm going to be cutting out the credits and everything. We already saw that in Toll's playthrough. Um, just ending it off, you know, here. After this Rota tree scene. Yeah. I wonder if Hugo and Unica are going to stay down in this timeline as well. Probably. Or maybe he'll, like, push Mishawa and be like, You go. Like, I'm done with you. I don't want to spend any more time with you than I have to. I almost in some ways feel sorry for her. But in other ways, she's just such a pain in the ass. I don't feel sorry for her at all. I want to see her miserable and crushed. Destroy her soul. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what's wrong, Hugo? Oh, but it's not gonna happen within your lifetime. It's gonna be about 700 or so years. Oh, well, yeah, you do have a point. What do you know? You don't know anything. You don't even know your own feelings. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Huh. Ugh. Go away! Ugh, you're so annoying and ugly. Can't stand you. Yeah, looks like they're all staying behind as well. Well, Roy, maybe you should stay behind with Unica? Oh, hey, hey! Kind of interesting how Unica gets a happier ending in Hugo's timeline than she got in her own timeline. I just think that's kind of... Yeah, I like that, actually. Actually, no. The more I think about it, like, Unica should get her good ending in her own timeline. Why does Hugo get everything? Hugo gets all the best scenes. He gets all the best powers. He, he, he even gets the best ending. Unica even gets shafted in her own ending. She doesn't even get a happy ending. Unica gets a happy freaking ending, but only in Hugo's timeline. Like, what is this? Uh Oh, well, yeah. But then again, I mean, hell to pay. It's not like anybody could make him pay for this. I mean, what are they going to do? They're up in Solomon's Shrine. He's down here on Earth. They can't do anything to him. Yeah, my thoughts and prayers are with you, girl. Let me make such empty, hollow promises like that and do absolutely nothing, as usual. Oh, well, somebody's going to be single for the rest of your life down here. Let's think of, like, an open relationship or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, that ends off uh, Hugo and Unica's story. So, uh, yeah. I hope that you guys liked E's Origin. This has been David, signing off. Have a good day.